Hey there, young explorers of the math world. Ready to dive into cool math challenges? Dive right into our Math Quiz for Kids channel for some exciting math challenges. And if you're ready for the fun, give us a thumbs up and subscribe right away. Are you ready? So, let's go. Question one. Four times three equals what? So the answer is four times three is 12. To calculate, we have four groups with three balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 12 balls. Question two, six times two equals what? So the answer is, 6 times 2 is 12. To calculate, we have 6 groups with 2 balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 12 balls. Question 3. 8 times 7 equals what? So the answer is 8 times 7 is 56. To calculate, we have 8 groups with 7 balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 56 balls. Question 4. 7 times 6 equals what? So the answer is, 7 times 6 is 42. To calculate, we have 7 groups with 6 balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 42 balls. Question 5. 2 times 9 equals what? So, the answer is, 2 times 9 is 18. To calculate, we have two groups with 9 balls each one. So, how many balls do we have? 18 balls. Question 6. 8 times 8 equals what? So the answer is 8 times 8 is 64. To calculate, we have 8 groups with 8 balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 64 balls. Question 7. 3 times 5 equals what? So the answer is 3 times 5 is 15. To calculate, we have 3 groups with 5 balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 15 balls. Question 8. 4 times 7 equals what?
So, the answer is 4 times 7 is 28. To calculate, we have four groups with seven balls each one. So, how many balls do we have? 28 balls. Question 9. 3 times 7 equals what? So, the answer is 3 times 7 is 21. To calculate, we have 3 groups with 7 balls each one. So, how many balls do we have? 21 balls. Question 10. 6 times 4 equals what? So the answer is 6 times 4 is 24. To calculate, we have 6 groups with 4 balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 24 balls. Question 11. 7 times 6 equals what? So, the answer is 7 times 6 is 42. To calculate, we have 7 groups with 6 balls each one. So, how many balls do we have? 42 balls. Question 12. 5 times 6 equals what? So, the answer is 5 times 6 is 30. To calculate, we have 5 groups with 6 balls each one. So, how many balls do we have? 30 balls. Question 13. 6 times 3 equals what? So, the answer is 6 times 3 is 18. To calculate, we have 6 groups with 3 balls each one. So, how many balls do we have? 18 balls. Question 14. 7 times 4 equals what? So, the answer is 7 times 4 is 28. To calculate, we have 7 groups with 4 balls each one. So, how many balls do we have? 28 balls. Question 15. 8 times 7 equals what? So, the answer is 8 times 7 is 56. To calculate, we have 8 groups with 7 balls each one. So, how many balls do we have? 56 balls. Question 16. 
Nine times three equals what? So, the answer is, nine times three is 27. To calculate, we have nine groups with three balls each one. So, how many balls do we have? 27 balls. Question 17. Four times six equals what? So the answer is four times six is 24. To calculate, we have four groups with six balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 24 balls. Question 18. Six times seven equals what? So the answer is, Six times seven is 42. To calculate, we have six groups with seven balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 42 balls. Question 19, eight times eight equals what? So the answer is, 8 times 8 is 64. To calculate, we have 8 groups with 8 balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 64 balls. Question 20. 8 times 2 equals what? So the answer is 8 times 2 is 16. To calculate, we have 8 groups with 2 balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 16 balls. How many did you get right? We bet you did awesome. Remember, practice makes perfect. Don't forget to click the like button if you had fun and subscribe so you can join us for even more math quiz adventures. Let's keep the math magic alive.